Hey everyone, Howard here. Welcome back to our series on Emanuel Swedenborg's Heaven and Hell. Today we're diving into an important concept, how heaven itself is divided into two distinct kingdoms, the heavenly kingdom and the spiritual kingdom. The reason for this division? Well, the way angels accept the Lord's divine nature. So what's the difference? In the heavenly kingdom, angels are filled with what Swedenborg calls heavenly love, which is a deep love for the Lord. In the spiritual kingdom, angels live by spiritual love, which focuses on thoughtfulness towards our neighbors. Both are forms of divine love, but they're expressed differently. The heavenly kingdom is sometimes referred to as the Lord's priestly kingdom or his dwelling place, while the spiritual kingdom is called his royal kingdom or his throne. This is because the love that flows through each is different in its focus, either on the Lord directly or on others through thoughtfulness. And here's something truly fascinating. Heavenly angels don't think about whether or not a thing is true or not. They just know because the truth is engraved on their hearts. As soon as they hear divine truth, they accept it directly into their lives. They live it out immediately without needing to analyze it or question it. This makes heavenly angels incredibly wise and full of splendor. It's like they're radiating divine truth. Spiritual angels, on the other hand, they first take divine truth into their memory and thoughts before living it out. It's not as immediate, but it's still a powerful way of receiving the Lord's love. Now, even though the heavenly kingdom and the spiritual kingdom are distinct, they still form one whole heaven. And how is that? Well, through a group of angels called heavenly spiritual angels. These angels act as intermediaries, creating communication and unity between two kingdoms. So while heaven is divided into two kingdoms, the beauty is that those kingdoms work together in perfect harmony. It's a divine system where love for the Lord and love for others comes together to create one unified heaven. That's kind of amazing, isn't it? Now, how can I use this knowledge of these two kingdoms in heaven to better understand my own spiritual life? This division between the heavenly kingdom and the spiritual kingdom reflects two key aspects of our own journeys, our love for the Lord and our thoughtfulness towards others. By recognizing that these two forms of love exist within us, we can begin to see how our inner life is shaped by both. Love for the Lord helps us to connect deeper spiritual truths, and they guide us towards a direct relationship with the divine, while love for our neighbor encourages us to actively live out those truths in the world through kindness and compassion. The more we harmonize these two loves, by grounding our action in divine principles and allowing our love for others to flow from our love for the Lord, the more we can experience spiritual growth and align our lives with the wisdom that angels live by in heaven. This balance helps us create our own heaven on earth, where love and truth guide our intentions and our actions. Thank you for joining me today. In our next episode, we will dive deeper into the different heavens and the countless communities that make up this divine realm. Stay tuned and I'll see you next time.